Former Secretary of State Diana Duran has a big decision to make after a judge decided the plea deal the Attorney General's office gave her was too lenient. She can either spend a month behind bars or back out of the deal. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is here. Kim Duran, as well as friends and former colleagues, lobbied the judge to go easy on her today. Instead, she got jail time and a hefty fine. A tearful Diana Duran was looking for mercy this morning at her sentencing hearing. I would just ask this court for forgiveness of me too. The now former Secretary of State has pleaded guilty to two felonies and four misdemeanors for stealing campaign donations and spending that money at casinos. Farmington Republican Senator Bill Scherer told the judge it was a crime where Duran only hurt herself. She didn't take any taxpayer money. What she took was her own reputation. And she's paid a high price already. The AG's office pushed for Duran to get no jail time. The state is recommending the suspended sentence. Meanwhile, outside the courthouse, I bet you 10 bucks to get off. a handful of protesters cried out against what they saw as a sweet plea deal for Duran. She's a sellout trader. That's why we're dead last. Because people like that will always do what they do. Period. Judge T. Glenn Ellington seemed to hear them when he handed down his final sentence. 30 days of incarceration and five years of supervised probation. That 30 days in jail would start Friday and keep her behind bars for Christmas. The judge also ordered Duran to pay nearly $28,000 in fines and restitution, gave her 2,000 hours of community service, and banned her from casinos for the next five years. Under her plea agreement, though, Duran can now back out of the deal because the judge gave her jail time. He urged her not to. Ms. Duran, you've uh, asked this court for the opportunity to rehabilitate yourself. That opportunity is standing before you. It starts Friday at 9 a.m. when you walk through the front door of the Santa Fe County Detention Center. The judge gave Duran until Wednesday at noon to back out of that plea deal. Duran's attorney told us she still has to consult with Duran about what to do next. Back to you, Kim. Okay, thanks, Alex. Now as for Duran's replacement, the governor says she will appoint someone before the end of the week.